Welcome back, Legacy Club, to another classic cartoon commentary. Today we're headed back to 1933, February 4th, 1933, to be precise. And it's a merry melody, and uh, a merry melody that I think we're just going to, you know, it's one of those where you're going to have to really accept it's a product of its time. And try, try not to let that get the best of you. One step ahead of my shadow. It's very kind of Peter Panny, right? One step ahead of my shadow. You always have to be one step ahead of your shadow, otherwise your shadow will get the best of you. And then you have to sew it back on. <laughs> Anyhow, this isn't Peter Pan. This looks to be a country of Asian origin. Hey, Mickey, not, not Mickey Mouses. Not Mickey Mice. Sorry. Pardon my grammar. But you see that? Straight up not Mickey Mice. The shorts, the shoes, all of it. Ow. That looks like it would hurt. So, were his shoulders doing the dinging? <laughs> Shanghai Express. Wait, what's this? Is that what that said? What up, da 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 Is that a fish at the end? That's pretty, that's clever. <laughs> so far, nothing oh, hello there, Amos. incredibly disrespectful. How is you? Amos and Andy? Oh, that's hilarious. That was very funny. Um, it's a cartoon, so everything's a gag. Everything's a joke. You know what I mean? And I feel everything is fairly tastefully done so far. For 1933. <laughs> that's, that's, ah! Big fish ate the duck at that time. That was, I was just going to comment on that duck popping up eating a fish over and over. But <laughs> that was actually very good. Have you... People do that in real life. Have you seen guys actually do that? It's, it's very fascinating. I don't... I, they don't clear the entire bridge, I don't think. Uh, what is that Olympic sport called? Oh, here we go. High jump? It's not the high jump. Pole vaulting. That's what it was. I don't think I've ever seen somebody pole vault a whole bridge, but they like pole vault onto the bridge, walk across the bridge, and then get back on the boat. It's pretty impressive. <laughs> wow, very. Well, I suppose you could take offense to how that sounded, but but don't. It's a cartoon. It's a funny. It's a goof. Look at this. It's romantic. That is, she's going really high on that swing. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that dynamic. The guy pulling the rickshaw, super fit, happy. The guy riding, not so fit, not so happy. It says, uh, it says a little something about exercise, you know what I mean? Wow, look at those nails. That's wild. <laughs> That's pretty good. So far, I like the gags all being, you know, pretty universal. They don't they don't feel super culturally insensitive. Because if anybody was pulling, you know, a wagon-esque vehicle and had their hair pulled, I'd imagine that they would make a, a, a wooga sound. He put a feed bag on him, like a horse. <laughs> yeah, that music's terrible. What? Come on, guys. Play together. Mel American way? Is that what he was saying? Oh, there you go. Well, he's got a point. 
The United States is the originators of the swing and jazz and blues and rock and roll. I feel a song coming on. Whoa. That was a four headed dragon. <laughs> I <laughs> love <laughs> I like this little ditty Oh dragons are real How long do you think that dragon was trapped in there Before he realized he could melt the bars with his breath Jeez. Whose idea was it to trap a dragon like that? That just seems like a terrible idea. And it's not even like a zoo. It was like in the guy's backyard. Ah, that was some pretty cool animation. Oh, here we go. Yeah, get him. Get him. Uh-oh. <laughs> First misstep was not bringing a shield with you. If you're going to fight a dragon, have a shield. Like that one on the wall. Get the one on the wall. Oh, fireworks. Oh, this is either going to work out really well or really poorly. <laughs> it's clearly a little bit of both. Oh, that was fun. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> ah. <laughs> That's great. I mean, that... That's a pretty ingenious way to beat a dragon. Granted, all the, uh, you know, collateral damage. Wow. That might be even more terrifying. A skeleton dragon roaming the land? What's more frightening, a dragon dragon or a skeleton dragon? So long. Hey, that was pretty... I think that was tastefully done. Now, there may be some of you out there who disagree, but I'm confident in saying you're wrong. Hey, a dragon. Speaking of dragons, go visit our legacy shop at leolegacy.com. There's a link there to our shop. Or legacyclubclo.com. Pick yourself up something nice and help support the channel and what we do. Also, if you're a fan of commentaries, you might be a fan of our extended commentaries on feature films namely the Disney feature films. We have uh, quite, a, quite a few over there on the Rumbles. And you can also listen to it on our podcast. And you can listen to just the podcast itself. It's more of me ranting about whatever on the Legacy Club podcast. And there you have it. Leo Legacy across all your favorite social media platforms. And as always, thank you for being a friend and telling a friend. See ya.